Good afternoon, and it is a rocky start to our last Saturday in Orlando. We are heading in the city walk, and we just found out theme parks are at capacity. And guess what? So we're at Disney theme parks as well, and we have no park pass today for Disney either. <laughs> of all things. Cool! We're with Jill and James. James and James finally met. <laughs> We're shopping in the store and he's kind of on the way to a nap. Maybe. Look at this. This is the line that they've started. The park's still not open. Like they're still at capacity. They've just started this ridiculous queue. We're not even going to join that. We're getting our voodoo. We ordered voodoo donuts. I'm trying to get him to fall asleep. Oh, hopefully that works. And we'll see. We'll see, maybe we'll just head out after that. So it seems that they have a hotel entrance and a re-entry entrance. And they're letting those people back in first, which makes sense. Prioritization is always good. But that's what makes me think that like when we went through the parking lot, they said it could be three to six hours before they let park open. We knew we weren't even going right, so we just wanted to walk around and see Diagon Alley one last time and everything. So I really think we're gonna get this voodoo and probably end up heading out because we're not, there's, it's City Walk isn't as much of a fun like hangout, especially with the crowds. So we'll see, I think he is finally asleep. Fingers crossed he stays asleep because he hasn't napped all day. But I'm excited for the voodoo. We're getting voodoo and Jill got the fake, is it just fake grape? It's called grape, ape grape or something uh -huh. like that, but I like, it just tastes like fake grape. Like, so good. Delicious fake grape when you were a kid, like weird candy or bubble gum that yeah. you would get. I love grape pop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And now ours is ready. Megan and Katie, I ate too. Hey. All the donuts. Check out my mocha. Chuckles. Donut. We have everything packed up except our kitchen and like our bathroom stuff. And I got Butterfinger. I've never had this before. Changed our location. <laughs> we, we got <laughs> we're all kinds of disheveled from the day, but fate was in our favor when we looked for park passes for Disney. They were all out earlier. And there were some open for Magic Kingdom, so we got in our car, sped on over. Megan and Katie were able to grab Magic Kingdom too, so they're here. They're gonna meet us in the park as well. So we know it's busy, but I think the plan is just to like find a corner just to sit in. Right. We were doing that at City Walk anyway, so we might as well have a castle for our view instead. So. And maybe rumors are we might get some corn dog nuggets. Mm. So we'll see. Yeah. If things were different, I would have been right here, ready to cheer on Peter for, more. A, for a half marathon. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's like it would have been the run. Well, it's the virtual. It is. Yeah. yeah. It is. Right. It's the virtual princess. Yeah. Which you is remember cool last of, year's princess? I do. We got a very important phone call that some no. little dweeb decided to stick with us. It's been the sleepiest kid today, but look at his swish and flick. Look at that power vein. His brain. Mm. It's time to eat, honey. You remember when I said Florida was against us? Like Florida felt that we were leaving and it was mad at us? Yes. 
literally the reason when we got the park pass is to come here. We we're all like, sweet, we can sit in the hub grass, get corn dog nuggets, it's gonna be great. The location of the corn dog nuggets is closed. At least these pals are out making everybody happy, making some magic. I wish Big Al was out though. So corn dog nuggets are closed, but uh, we are not going hungry. And this is, oh, here comes my food, yes. Look at the pillars up there. Wow. <laughs> Watch now. <laughs> Feast. Do we eat our feelings or do we eat our feelings? This little one is up. You've been all around the town today and you're finally awake. We're back in the hoggrass and see like, look how plush it is. Hey, baby. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you miss me, Weasel? Did you miss me? Look how beautiful this is. All of it, all of it. James was being nosy and he was loving it. And we're gonna go try to ride, uh, what is it, Haunted? Yeah. Maybe Puba if it, if it drops a little bit. He just can't stop looking at the other kids. Oh yeah, 20 minutes and we're gonna time it. I don't even think it's gonna be 20. It's quarter to seven right now. But the spookiest time to go on this attraction. We thought the Liberty Bell was done for the night, but we yeah. see it right here. Look how beautiful, like with the sun setting, the Liberty, the Liberty Bell is about to pop out through the tree. Let's go to Haunted Mansion. This is turning a day around. For real. When Universal denies you, when Corn Dog Nuggets deny you, you find the magic. Toot toot. toot. It might as well be Halloween time. It feels like a Midwestern Halloween time with the weather. It does. It really does. <laughs> I could jump to Halloween. I'd be happy with that choice. Well, me too. Ooh. You two have never been over here, right? Not before this seating. Yeah, there's like it's beautiful really cool. cushions. Last time I was over here, this was a fast pass area. Yeah, now it's now it's like a hangout area. We had like dance parties after the that are like not so scary. Yeah. But lots of seating. Yeah, we're just chilling. James having a snack, and then we'll see what we're doing. It's getting late. I'm supposed to run tonight. It's just nice to be here past seven o'clock. I know it really is. It's open until ten tonight. Well, this is the life. So here's we're by the slot, the sideshow, Casey Jr. over there. We just pointed out. I'm running to the washroom, but we just pointed out that we've been here for like an hour and a half, just sitting there chit chatting. And the way where we are, like tucked away, we've not seen other guests. So it's kind of like one, the Magic Kingdom's all of our own, and two, 
We also haven't lost our mind from the crazy circus music going on, but as you can see, like I walk five feet this way and there's there's guests and everything going on, but I think we're gonna get packed up and either walk around. I think I wanna do one more lap around before we head out for the day. But we've been away from Eve very long, so I wanna get going soon. We got a sleepy Jamesy boy on a beautiful Main Street. We're heading out a little after 9.30. Just a nice relaxing time at the parks. We're gonna go home and see our puppy and eat a bunch of ice cream. Disclaimer, we don't have any ice cream, so I don't know how we're gonna eat ice cream. Love you. We're home. He's out. She's about to be out. No, I'm just really cozy. I've been wanting to do this since we got denied going into Universal. <laughs> and the day obviously turned out to be wonderful, but like I just needed this real quick. Good. Nothing like a late night snack. It's not McDonald's or fast food, but. I forgot that we had this. Some prosciutto. I'm still not used to this whole meat thing. Flimsy meat thing. I I'm excited for my beets. Pickle. Do you like my hair now? I do. It looks like like a loosened Elsa. <laughs> the daily message. If you can't convince them, confuse them. Harry S. Truman. Been watching um, the first season of For All Mankind. Pretty good show. For some reason. I cannot sleep. It's almost four in the morning. Sarah and James are snoozing on the couch. Eve keeps flip-flopping around different spots, but I don't know. Just not tired, but I'm going to sign off now because it's good and so late. So it's good to be home. goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>